in today's video, I will be reviewing Outre Perfect Hairline in the style Aria, and I got it in the color 1B. This is a 13 by 6 lace front wig, and the unit also comes pre-plugged as well. I'm showing y'all how the unit looks straight out of the package, and as far as the lace customization, I did go in with my Ruby Kisses foundation to tint my lace, and I also pre-plugged the hairline a little bit more. First things first, I'm making sure that I cut the air tabs off on each side of the lace so that the wig can properly fit on my head. Now I'm cutting my lace into three sections and I'll be working on each section separately starting with that middle section. To lay my lace down, I'm applying one layer of the Even Firm Hold Sensitive Spray. I'm going in with my blow dryer on a medium heat setting and I'm blow drying the spray until it is tacky enough for me to go in and lay my lace down. When it comes to laying the lace down, I like to make sure that the hairline on the lace is laid directly on top of where I applied the adhesive spray. You wanna apply those same steps to the other two sides of the lace. going back in with that adhesive spray and applying a small amount of that spray onto my lace to ensure that the lace is fully glued down and there is no lace that is lifting up. going in with my elastic band and I'm also going in with my blow dryer on the hottest heat setting and I'm blow drying on top of my elastic band so that I can get that melted lace look. I do this process for about five minutes. to cut the lace and when it comes to cutting the lace I love to cut my lace in a zigzag motion and I love doing this because it just gives the lace more of a natural look as opposed to me cutting the lace straight across and leaving a straight harsh lace line. Once again, I'm going back in with that same even firm hold spray and spraying the areas on the lace that did not fully glue down the first time. Now that the lace is fully glued down, I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the color level 15, and I'm using the darkest shade on this palette to blend the lace with my skin tone. Now it's time to brush these curls out and see how this wig is really styled. So when it comes to my synthetic wigs, I like to brush from the bottom and then work my way up to the top to prevent any tangles and knots.
I'll be showing y'all two styles with this unit. The first style is going to be a middle part. And I love how deep this middle part is. I feel like a deep middle part just makes the wig look 10 times better. I'm going in with my blow dryer on the hottest heat setting and a brush and I'm brushing the foundation of this wig so that the wig can look like a nice flat install. I love doing this step because this step will definitely get your wig to lay nice and flat. As you're doing this step, it is important to make sure that you get the back of the wig as well. Although we can't see it, you still want to make sure that the back of your wig is nice and flat. I'm using my hot comb on the lowest heat setting and I'm just going over the top of this wig again just to make sure that the wig is just completely flattened down and it looks nice and neat. I'm going in with the Even Wig Knots Concealer in the color medium beige to enhance my parting space. I decided to add baby hairs on this unit and I really wanted my baby hairs to be thin and natural looking so I'm only pulling out a thin layer of baby hairs to work with. I'm going in with my thin flat iron and I'm curling the baby hairs so that I can get that fluffy baby hair type of look. And to style my baby hairs, I'm going in with the Got To Be Gel in the black tube. Here's the final look of the unit and I really do like the outcome of this unit. I feel like it gives off glam, it has so much volume to it and I really do love the way that the curls just fall on this unit. I've decided to style this unit as a flip over for the second style and it was really easy to transition into this style from the middle part. So here we have the outcome of the flip over style. I'm really feeling this flip over. I feel like the flip over with the curls, it just adds so much more personality to the hair. I like both styles with this unit. However, I feel like this flip over style just looks better with the curls for some reason. And as far as tangling, the unit did tangle as I was brushing through the hair. Of course, given the fact that it is a curled synthetic wig, you will get tangles here and there. Also, this unit is more on the silky texture side. Make sure you comment down below on how you like the unit. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video.